Greetings and salutations. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. And I told you I'd be right back. But with something really, really good. I just wanted to get the whole Justin Bieber scandal out of the way. So this is better in comparison. If I have any more to say on the incident, it's really Justin Bieber. Really? Anyways, on to the thing at hand. I have just heard and read the best news in my life. Also the worst, too. But, like I said, just going to leave the thing aside. Besides that. Um, Sony is thinking about releasing a movie about my favorite childhood superhero Captain Planet Yes Hallelujah Yes thank you Yes 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 Thank you Lord on high there is a God there is a God <sighs> But then, here comes the worst news. Do you really want to hear it? I'll give you a few seconds to kind of get the whole yes, yes, yes dance out of you so you can enjoy and at least handle the news that's following. Okay, I gave you enough mercy. Don Murphy, the producer, or one of the, yeah, one of the producers off of the Transformers film. Is going to have his hands on this project. Now, there's someone else involved, and seeing his name and Knowing him sort of made it better. And where I heard this from was first was channel Fred. I think it's a Frederator. Yeah, it, it's the channel that's dedicated to everything Frederator and other ones. But, uh,. I don't know. That's not what we want. Sorry, just trying to get the computer to act right. Talk. Much. Let me get it on the thing. Sorry about that. It's an interesting part. Commercial. Parts of the world. Each with a special ring that when they come together, they form Captain Planet. Okay. Basically, I was watching this video late at night, and there were a few other links that helped help confirm this, and I believe I went to Hollywood Reporter. Okay. Paste again. So I think I'd be a lot better at this nowadays. Sorry, my generation. Okay. It's gonna have Mark Gordon. 
Okay. And Susan Montford. I don't know much about them, but I think we can trust in anyone in anyone in anything okay you can at least be thankful that uh... Sorry. that Mike Michael Bay won't have his hands in this however anyone who has worked with Michael Bay that's just like McCain, John McCain running for president. Considering what Bush had done, it's not gonna happen. But then again, maybe there's a maybe it'll work. Maybe. The work of other people on this might not be so bad. Yeah. I wanna look up Mark Gordon. I'm trying to think of what Mark Gordon Oh wait. Mark Gordon. I'm sorry to make you all kind of okay. Alright, he is well he is a veteran producer whose credits control speed and broken arrow to same prior of Ryan and twenty twelve, so you not be bad. So also the second producer behind shows such as Grey's Anatomy, Criminal Minds, and the upcoming Ray Donovan. So some things are looking good. Okay? Some things are looking good. But still that's the thing. I'm conflicted. I will probably still go see this film because, come on, it's Captain Planet. Who doesn't want to go see the film? However, the downside is, and what I don't want them to do, are there's a few things I want them to fix. I guess you can have the jokes. I don't mind Captain Planet doing uh, dumb jokes, that's his thing, but at the same time, please don't make him look too stupid. We really don't want another Scooby-Doo. I know part of the reason why I really liked Captain Planet, and I'll go into this in another video, I don't want to go into it too much here, is that it was like Scooby Doo if it had a better premise. Sorry, but you have to hold up to the fact it's a good show, but it didn't have Scooby Doo was a funny show, but it didn't really have a very good premise. It didn't teach anything. Well, I kinda of feel like Captain Planet was at least trying. Okay. So but I also am conflicted on the idea that anyone who was in charge of the Transformers films, even though I liked them, it wasn't my childhood that they were wrecking. Okay? It's now my turn, of course. It's like, it, it's, this is the equivalent of sitting and you know you, you get to point and laugh at your best friend getting his getting a buzz cut because he got all that gum in his hair after you and to pop the bubble oh. you know you don't realize that you might be next that it would ever happen to you and then it does so, I don't know what this will be. Will this be a, another one of those films that have been kind of mocking the 90s? Or will this be a positive thing? 
maybe I shouldn't be so close-minded and just go see the film and stop me a whiny pansy pain in the <laughs> pain in the ASS and just go see it. Anyways, it's, I know this sounds like a platitudinous thing to ask, but do any of you have a 90s film, 90s cartoon show that you would like to be made into a film? If so, put it down in the comments below. And just to confirm what I have just said in this video on all this stuff, I'm going to put some links down in the description again and about it. And let you be the judge. And yeah, that's it. This is Evelyn O'Malley signing out. Uh, and again, asking you to follow me on my Twitter, my Tumblr, uh, and uh, check out my fan fiction in the next few days. Yes. <clears throat> and see what my WordPress blog has to say. Yeah. Peace!